Ripple Payment Protocol Ripple is a real-time gross settlement system, currency exchange and remittance network created by Ripple Labs Incorporated, a U.S.-based technology company. Released in 2012, Ripple is built upon a distributed open-source protocol and supports tokens representing fiat currency, cryptocurrency, commodities, or other units of value such as frequent flyer miles or mobile minutes. Ripple purports to enable secure, instantly, and nearly free global financial transactions of any size with no chargebacks. The ledger employs the native cryptocurrency known as XRP. In December 2020, Ripple Labs and two of its executives were sued by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, for selling XRP tokens, which the SEC classified as unregistered securities. History Ripple was conceived by Jed McCaleb and built by Arthur Brito and David Schwartz who then approached Ryan Fuber, who had debuted in 2005 as a financial service to provide secure payment options to members of an online community via a global network. Fuber had developed a system called OpenCoin which would transform into Ripple. The company also created its own form of digital currency referred to as XRP to allow financial institutions to transfer money with negligible fees and wait time. In 2013, the company reported interest from banks for using its payment system. By 2018, over 100 banks had signed up, but most of them were only using Ripple's ex-current messaging technology, while avoiding the XRP cryptocurrency due to its volatility problems. Representatives of the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, SWIFT, whose market dominance is being challenged by Ripple, have argued that the scalability issues of Ripple and other blockchain solutions remain unsolved, confining them to bilateral and intrabank applications. A Ripple executive acknowledged in 2018 that we started out with your classic blockchain, which we love. But the feedback from the banks is you can't put the whole world on a blockchain. Ripple relies on a common shared ledger, which is a distributed database storing information about all Ripple accounts. Chris Larson told the Stanford Graduate School of Business that the network was managed by a network of independent servers which compare their transaction records, and that servers could in theory belong to anyone, including banks or market makers. Ripple validates accounts and balances instantly for payment transmission and delivers payment notification within a few seconds. Payments are irreversible, and there are no chargebacks. Ripple Labs continued as the primary contributors of code to the consensus verification system behind Ripple, which can integrate with banks' existing networks. Since 2013, the protocol has been adopted by an increasing number of financial institutions to offer an alternative remittance option to consumers. By December 2014 Ripple Labs began working with global payment service Earthport, combining Ripple's software with Earthport's payment services system. The partnership marked the first network usage of the Ripple protocol. On December 29, 2017, XRP briefly became the second largest cryptocurrency, with a market capitalization of US$73 billion. Litigation A class action was filed against Ripple in May 2018 alleging that it led a scheme to raise hundreds of millions of dollars through unregistered sales of its XRP tokens. According to the complaint, the company created billions of coins out of thin air and then profited by selling them to the public in what is essentially a never-ending initial coin offering. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, initiated legal proceedings against Ripple Labs, CEO Brad Garlinghouse, and co-founder Chris Larson on December 21, 2020, for allegedly selling unregistered securities. In the lawsuit, the SEC claimed that XRP was a security instead of a commodity, because it was generated and distributed by Ripple Labs in a centralized fashion and was not being adopted by financial institutions for its advertised use cases. The SEC stated that Ripple executives sold 14.6 billion units of XRP for more than $1.38 billion to fund the company's operations and enrich themselves. In response, Garlinghouse criticized the SEC and indicated that Ripple Labs would defend itself in court. Coinbase delisted XRP on December 28. An investor filed a class action on December 30 alleging that Coinbase sold XRP tokens with the understanding that they were unregistered securities. Reception For its creation and development of the Ripple protocol, RTXP, 
and the Ripple Payment Slash Exchange Network Ripple Labs was named as one of 2014's 50 smartest companies in the February 2014 edition of MIT Technology Review. A scientific study made by two researchers from Stanford and Stockholm University that studied the money production from an energy consumption point of view and a macroeconomic level stated that running a server on Ripple was comparable to the energy needs of running an email server.